Hey guys, it's Farrell. I am coming to you with a new little uh, bit of the series. Uh, as you can see, I am over here in a weird little area, and for once, uh, it's not often I actually get a chance to come face to face with Mr. Camera over here that you see on the right side of my screen. Uh, you can see I'm in creative mode, and uh, the camera is technically in creative mode. It really shouldn't be, so I have to talk to Zonza about getting that fixed. But uh, uh, you can see right over there, hello, Mr. Camera. Nice to uh, finally get to meet you face to face. Yep, that's my uh, camera skin, by the way. Uh, just so you can kind of see him on screen. So this is the next item that we're going to be uh, doing here. Uh, this, if for the community, the cross community games, uh, this is actually a giant build challenge over here, and the theme of going is going to be winter, obviously. Uh, that's for everyone. I have to be very careful with what I'm doing with the camera account because I don't want to take him too high. He's a little quasi cheaty right now, technically. Um, that's because the surfer itself will not allow forge, so unfortunately, I can't do a playthrough on this. Uh, also, it's not necessarily going to be 100% uh, covered with audio at this point because I'm not in TeamSpeak. I'm actually in, as I'm speaking to you guys right now, I'm actually still in TeamSpeak for the Hunt the Hermit 2 UHC, trying to listen in on what's going on over there. Uh, so I'm going to be having that, and that's probably going to get filtered out while I work on some stuff in the background here. I've also got to talk with the others. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, Zonza has linked a particular item here to uh, pull up the voxel reference guide and tools. I'm not all that familiar with voxel tools. I've never really uh, played with them before, so it's going to be a little interesting to see how this turns out. So this is kind of the best thing I can do to having replay mod is have the uh, camera count here looking over things and uh, like I said uh, it's going to be a little tricky because I need to yeah, I need to do that thing where was it F3P to keep it from pausing? Yeah, there we go. Ah, it's better. Alright, now I'm not going to have the pause or the chat on the screen there when I do that. Um, so our theory has been uh, a little, we've discussed it a little bit and uh, what you can see over here on my screen on the left which is my player view or my builder view, I guess you could call it. This is going to be uh, waters coming off of a mountain, a river, basically. Uh, red is a battleground over there, can be expanded further shrunk. Uh, yellow, there's going to be an igloo, apparently in this general area, over the water, I guess, which is either that or maybe the water's supposed to be over in this corner. Uh, it's a 300 by 300 plot, so there's a lot going on here that uh, I'm not 100% familiar with. Actually, yeah, that would be a river going through there, going out to here. Uh, white is a buffer space, so uh, anything can expand into the general area that's white here. And orange are going to be two canyons that are going to be on this map. Now, uh, we've kind of tossed around a couple ideas, and there's been discussion of doing, you know, Winter Castle... Uh, the idea I kind of liked most was doing a recreation of the Battle of Hoth, and I think those two themes have kind of been melded together. But I need to uh, talk with the others, and obviously since I'm on TeamSpeak on one area, I can't exactly go into voice chat on the other. Uh, so that's kind of making things a little on the tricky side at the moment. So to summarize, what I'm going to be building over here is supposed to be the Battle of Hoth. Uh, obviously I'm pretty limited on scale here. There he is. Okay, he's just not rendering in for me. Okay, so, to get back to where I was going, I need to build over in kind of this whole area here, in this, this whole wide corner, a, uh, recreation of the Battle of Hoth. Which, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see if I can pull it off. I've got some ideas on how to build the giant AT-AT, -AT, but, uh, the speeders are going to be a little more on the difficult side, I think. And then, of course, I'm not exactly going to be able to really replicate a good tether. Uh, but, yeah, I've got some ideas, and I think it really kind of makes more sense for me to start off with the ATAT. -AT. That's going to really kind of tend to set the size of everything else that's going to be in this general area. So, uh, let me go ahead and uh, get started on that, and what we'll probably wind up doing is jumping over into 
a little bit of a time lapse. Actually, pretty pleased with how this is turning out so far, but I think the height I'm way off on on the main body because now the head's the head looks about right in conjunction proportion to the legs there, but the height of the main body is definitely too uh, this is definitely too short, it's too squat, too low. Uh, so let me kind of uh, recalibrate here.
Okay, so there's what I've built so far. For the at, at I think that's looking pretty darn good, if you ask me. All things considered, with what you can pull off in Minecraft, I'm definitely not complaining there. Uh, looks pretty decent from the ground. You know, it's not perfect. But, you know, I'm not going to get anything close to perfection on this. That much is pretty clean, plainly clear. I've got my little uh, hole in here up in the bottom. Of course, it doesn't really go anywhere. The interior is quite very, 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 very plain. But there is that. So now the next question is, uh, I need something for this AT-AT -AT to be fighting. And for that, I'm going to need to do a little bit more research. I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. And that's why I forget for not remembering to hit record when I start building again. I completely forgot to uh, capture my first stages of working on the uh, little speeder coming across here. And just kind of playing around with the shape right now. Trying to see if I can come up with anything good. Uh, it's a very tight and compact craft, so I may kind of have to tweak things a little bit. Okay, yep, I think that's pretty good. Uh, let me take a quick gander over here. And this is our little uh, fighter streaking in to do a uh, tow cable run on our AT-AT -AT over there. Now, uh, you're going to have to forgive me on this one because I am not 100% familiar with how uh, all the voxel stuff works. We're going to try this anyways. We're going to do is go into this. We're going to come to our back edge here. <clears throat> Give myself a little extra room for that. And I believe I can do copy pasta. Good. Find the command to actually deal with this. I am not used to working with Voxel Sniper at all whatsoever. Um, so I believe what I just need to do is right click first point, second point, and then completely forget what I need to do. Hang on one second, folks. I think what I just need to do is Beautiful. Okay, we're going to build a little bit of a wing of these guys running forward. Perfect. Now, I just used the uh, the redstone just so I had a, a place to actually easily hit the copy on. So now i got three of those guys running across the field. And we're going to do the same sort of thing over here with the AT-AT. -AT. I am going to do it a little differently, though, because I want to make sure... I am going to replace that, don't worry. Uh, is that clear? Yeah, it clears everything there. Everything here. The only downside is it's hard to tell where you actually are pasting something when you do it. <clears throat> Points cleared. Alright. First point. Second point. No, I don't want it. Darn it. Get back over here. First point. Second point. We're going to paste this guy over. 
copied. Extended outside the region. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. There we go. It's a little further spread out than I really wanted it to be, but yeah. These guys are going to make a run. Actually, yeah, that is a kind of a bad spot for them because, as you can see here, they're kind of right in the. These guys are splitting the arrow, so they're splitting the uh, the force there. It's not a really good spot to be making an attack run on two ATATs, unfortunately. But that's what they're going to do. I guess they're either gonna, they're maybe they're doing to keep the uh, the uh, other side confused about which one they're actually targeting because they could really bank off either one at this point. So we've got our uh, engagement line here. What's our next step? Well, we're going to need some place for them to be fighting over. Now I've got to watch it because I've got stuff right on top of me here, so I don't have as much room as I would really like to be able to spread out. I mean, if, when I was originally proposing doing the Battle of Hoth for part of the CCG build challenge, I was really kind of envisioning having the whole run of the plot and not trying to really kind of uh, shoehorn everything in and around each other. But that's okay, we shall persevere. So, uh, some things that I do need, that do know that I need to do, I need to have some trenches around here, I need to have some gun emplacements, and I'm thinking right behind these guys is probably the best spot for them. So, let me go ahead and uh, start doing some of the work on that. Except I don't quite know... I'm guessing weather is disabled. Because if it were raining, then... That could kind of explain a few things. The problem is I don't have any way to really confine them in here. So let me do a little bit of backing up here. Kind of give you guys more of the elevated... Good, so that is... Not too bad. 
I mean, the speeders are good enough that you can kind of see what they are. I mean, the, the sad thing is actually when you get down to it, the armor stands don't make much of a difference because, because you can see they're going to pop out of render distance here on me, so you can't even really take in the whole scene and see them like that. It's going to be the same problem with uh, entities in general, so even if I use snowmen, I'm going to be in the same exact boat. Really should do is build one of these. Uh, one of these guys crashed in the snow or something. Actually, yeah, that is something I should do is to grab the the head off of one of these guys and have uh, the ATAT -AT crash in the snow. So the problem is when these things are in a crash position, they just look absolutely ridiculous. It's like, really? And how are you guys supposed to pick yourselves up again in any possible shape? Who designed something like this for a ground assault vehicle? I mean, the fact that it can practically trip over its own two feet because there's no separation between them seems a bit, uh, a bit stupid. I can zoom around here better than a snow speeder can right now.